Do you know what I smell in the Kremlin right now? I smell iron. I taste copper. And you know what that means? It means the sharks are out for blood. It is purging season in the Kremlin again, as the Russian government now having renewed its claim of legitimacy through another sham election has decided to pursue knocking out a few of the high ranking suits that have surrounded Putin's regime. Uh, and a lot of this has to do with people around Shoigu, the former defense minister has been replaced recently and demoted. Um, some people were speculating he might be completely knocked out, but he was demoted to the uh, Security Council of the, uh, that, uh, that was previously held by somebody else who was then removed from that position, another Putin ally, and he was booted as well. And that seemed to be one of the initiating instances that started to knock on all of this was the removal of Shoigu and his replacement by uh, an economist indicating that Putin might want to drag this war or likely is planning to drag this war out for the future and is preparing for that long-term war footing but I thought maybe that's where it would end. And then people around Shoigu started getting fired. And then other people in the defense ministry started getting fired. And I was like, oh, not only the defense ministry, but then we have people working in the federal bureau, uh, federal prison system and are recruiting them. They're getting fired. Man, there's a lot of people getting fired. And then the arrest started. And that's when the murmurs of purges started to, be, to appear. And these arrests are not slaps on the wrist either. These arrests, we're talking about jail sentences of like eight to 15 years for very old men, which could mean people dying in prison if they aren't immediately taken up and then put into the Putin meat grinder. Uh, but let's read a little bit from the political article describing what's going on in Russia. And then we're just going to list off a few of the people who are, are being affected by the purge, why the purge might be happening, and some of the finer details. The Kremlin escalated its crackdown on Russia's top military ranks with a new corruption arrest this week. Russian authorities detained Lieutenant General Vadim Sherman, deputy to General Valery Gerasimov. So Galeri, uh, General Valery Gerasimov is the uh, chief of staff for the Russian armed forces, and this is his deputy. So this is the person who serves under him and is supposed to assist him in those actions. Head of the Army's general staff. On suspicion of large-scale bribe-taking, Russian state media reported Thursday. It is the fourth arrest in the past month of a high-ranking military official. But it's not just military officials that are getting arrested. We'll talk about that later. That's not talked about in the political piece. Uh, marking the biggest Russian army scandal in years. The detention comes as President Vladimir Putin carries out sweeping reshuffles of top jobs, including a change at the head of the defense ministry. The string of arrests, beginning with Deputy Defense Minister Timur Ivanov in late April, followed by Lieutenant General Yuri Kutsunov, head of the personnel, personnel at the Defense Ministry. These are all people who have been purged and then arrested by the Russian government while it's reshuffling the Defense Ministry. Now, uh, there has been a response by the Russian government to the idea that there is a purge going on. Uh, Dmitry, uh, Dmitry Peskov, who is Putin's uh, press secretary, his spokesperson said, and I quote, the fight against corruption is a continuous effort. This is not a campaign. It is integral part, in fact, of the activities of our law enforcement agencies. Peskov noted that he could not go into further detail because he did not have the authority to do so. Now, there's a few things that I want to throw at this. It is true that many of these officials are probably corrupt, but also many people around Putin are corrupt. Putin is corrupt. So maybe it would be a problem with an excess in corruption in certain instances, maybe, but I don't think it would just be corruption. Um, I don't think it is just the fact that any of these people are corrupt. I also think some of them are probably not that competent. I also think on top of the corruption and the competence, there might be some political angles to this that is hard to analyze from the outside because Russian internal politics is actually quite secretive. And a lot of the assumptions that Westerners make, I feel sometimes, is based on just a lack of knowledge of what's happening internally because the Russian political scene keeps that type of stuff on a lock and key. Um, but on top of, one second, I got this. Duh, duh, duh. Somebody sent me a message. But the thing, sorry, I got distracted for a moment. The thing that makes me question this is that there's other arrests going on as well that have nothing to do with corruption. For example, uh, the one of the politicians that are close to Shoigu, I believe they're the head of Tuva, which is a region in Russia. It's one of their regional administrations. He's getting accusations thrown against him now 
for possibly not properly participating in a party primary. Now, I just got to throw out there, accusations of electoral uh, misbehavior or vote rigging or, you know, adjusting the system to benefit yourself or your party, this, it's kind of all void in a rigged system already. So it suggests to me either a falling out of favor of Shoigu due to incompetence and the people around him, or it suggests to me that some other thing that is not yet disclosed is going on leading to the removal of these people. Could be corruption, could be incompetence, could be other political factors, but it's not just restrained to the armed forces. In fact, I have a list here, including some armed forces personnel, because I just want to read off some of the people here and their positions to show you how wide-reaching this purge is uh, is happening. We've already talked about Ivanov, who's the deputy defense minister. We've already talked about Shamarin, who's the de deputy army of general staff. So that means the deputy for the defense minister is gone. The deputy for the army general staff is gone. The uh, defense minister, Shoigu, he's gone as well. So that's like a complete reshuffle of the defense ministry. Garisimov might be sweating. It's hard to say. Kutsinov, he's the head of personnel, uh, uh, personnel for the defense ministry. Talyanev, deputy for uh, federal prisons for Moscow. And Valetsky, he's a defense minister for, uh, uh, I believe he's either deputy or defense minister for procurement. I believe he's defense minister for procurement. These are not just people who are gone, who have been fired. These are people who have been arrested. Arrested. So if it's just about poor performance, is he punishing poor performance with arrests? Or is it is it a combination of you're allowed to be corrupt until you always suck, also suck. If you suck and you don't have the political connections like Shoigu, then you get the cell. Hell, maybe if Shoigu didn't have the political connections, he'd be already getting the cell and not just be getting a demotion. But to me, all of this points towards not only a reshuffle, because in my mind, a reshuffle would be you're fired, you're hired, you're fired, you're hired. This has some of the markings of a purge because instead of, you know, just firing and saying, you know, you're not with us anymore, they're taking them away in handcuffs. That's it. Like, if I got fired from a job working at Wawa, that usually doesn't end with me facing eight to 15 years in prison under accusations of corruption, unless I did some crazy stuff over at Wawa. And so while some people might call it a reshuffle, because of the arresting angle, I think I have to call this a purge, especially since you're losing so many officials, the defense minister, the deputy defense minister, the, de the deputy uh, uh, of, uh, of the army of the general staff. Uh, you've got all these different commanders getting removed. You've got people outside of the armed forces, outside of the Ministry of Defense, who's working for the federal prison system and the recruitment system there. They're getting removed. And so there is a purge going on in Russia. And we can't, well, see all the reasons for every individual purge. A purge is happening, and we just sit back and watch the shark swarm. Swarm? Swarm. Swarm. That's a word. Do do do. Do 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 do. Squirm? No, swarm. Swarm, not squirm. Wasn't the purge like a movie or something? Why would it be happening in Russia? Chat. 